I think, I think both OPEC uh, and the non-OPEC members of the Declaration of Cooperation have been working towards establishing a, a more, uh, more formal framework. Um, so, so this is a, a clearly a positive. Um, as we like to say, there's an OPEC plus put in the market. However, remember that this is a, this is a group that collectively has lost seven percentage points of market share in the last seven years. So they are, they are losing roughly a percentage point of market share a year to keep, uh, uh, to keep the, the group running. So, so it, there's going to be tensions internally and uh, Russia has probably been the most reluctant member of, of this, uh, this new framework precisely because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, voices in Russia that would like to see production uh, domestically continuing to grow rather than give away market share to Texas and, and Oklahoma um, and, and, and encourage a farther shale expansion here. So, so that's where the tension has been. So having the group collectively uh, uh, come with this, this new charter will, will provide, I think, some relief, uh, some signs of relief. But, but again, still, I think that the underlying problems are still there. Russia is, is a member, but will probably stay a reluctant member as, as they have been. So, Pavel, if you if you take production cuts and you put it into a bucket and you put geopolitical risk with Iran and tanker attacks and things like that into the bucket and you pull it out, what, what price do you get for the for the for crude going forward? Well, you mentioned some of the variables. Uh, we have to consider other variables, too. For example, uh, the IMO 2020 issue, which is looming. That's six, literally six months from today. Got to take that into account. What there is that? Also, What's IMO? What is IMO that? 2020, these are the low sulfur fuel regulations for the marine industry that are going to take effect six months from today, and that will effectively reduce the amount of usable fuel uh, by you know, a million barrels a day, maybe more. Um, that will be bullish for prices, particularly diesel prices, uh, six months from now. Uh, we, let's also not uh, overlook the fact that you know plenty of countries outside of OPEC are seeing production decline for organic reasons. So you know places like China, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, uh, and within OPEC, I mean Venezuela has ta essentially taken off more supply, not voluntarily, of course, uh, because of their own political crisis. But you know more supply offline in Venezuela than what Saudi Arabia and Russia have done combined. So uh, the OPEC cuts are part of the picture, by no means the only one, and we put everything together. What we get is a cyclical peak for oil prices, $100 Brent in 2020.